Before this lecture, we have discussed already that what is risk and what are the types of risk in Islamic and the conventional paradigm because this lecture is continuity of the previous lecture that was a part one of the position of capital in Islamic and the conventional economic system. Now we are moving forward that the final phase of this lecture is that what is the position of capital in Islamic and the conventional economic system. We already have discussed al khiraj al daman that on what basis capital is eligible to earn profit, which type of profit, risky capital or the secured capital we have discussed in the previous lecture. Now in this lecture, as we know that in the conventional economic system or the, in the micro and the macro we know that, that there is an uh, income flow chart. As we know there is a goods market and there is a labor market, consumer and the producer. Consumer visit the goods market, buy something and pay the price. From where consumer earn the money to pay the price, consumer provide its labor and against the labor they earn wages. Okay. The producer sells goods to the market and obtain the money, but for the production, producer gets the labor from the labor market and pay the wages. That wages uh, 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 goes to the consumer, and this is the economic flow chart. So this is the way in which economies, income, or the capital revolves in the economy as per conventional economic paradigm. Now let's talk about the factors of production. According to conventional economics, there are four factors of production. Land, labor, capital, and entrepreneur, and it is also known as organization. Before going to explain these factors of production, Let's discuss about the two terms of the concept. One is physical manifestation and the other is actual contribution. Physical manifestation is physical appearance. Let's say land. Land. So land, there is a surface of land. When we say that factor of production land, it does not mean that just the surface of land is factor of production surface of land or the world L A N D land it is just physical manifestation of the factor production of land and what is actual contribution of this land the actual contribution where is look what is the location of land what is the fertility of land what are the minerals of land irrigation system and uh, also the environment weather all these things matters all these things collectively make land as a factor of production. It means that all these qualities are known as actual contribution of factor of production of land. Same as labor. Labor is just a human body. Labor is physical manifestation of this product of this factor of production is human body, human icon. It is a physical manifestation of labor. But what is the actual contribution of this labor? The health of labor, education of labor, skills of labor, experience of labor. All these qualities collectively make labor as a factor of production. So it means that what is the actual contribution of the labor factor of production? This is the all these qualities. Same as so we call that we give land, we give rent, rent as a reward of land. We give wages as a reward of labor. We give interest as a reward of capital. We give profit as a reward of entrepreneur. When we talk about reward, so we give a reward to each factor of production, not looking at the just physical manifestation of each factor of production. No, just physical manifestation that reward is not determined in the light of physical manifestation. This is actual contribution of each factor production that determines what would be the reward of the factor production. So location will determine, environment will determine that what would be the rent of the land. Labor, the health, education, experience, age, Everything will matter what would be the 
wages of the labor. So it means that there is actual contribution of each factor of production that determines what would be in the reward of that factor of production. Let's move forward. I will repeat, I, will, I am going to just skip capital, I am talking about entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, the definition of entrepreneur is that entrepreneur is entity that owns a business, that owns a company, that owns a production process, its owner entity. The physical manifestation, it is also whether there are 20 owners, 30 owners, we are just taking as a one entity. So this entrepreneur is owner and it is, a, it is also a human being. Human being is just body is icon. It is just physical manifestation. What is actual contribution of this factor production? If entrepreneur says that I am educated, my health, my education, my experience, my age, etc. These are my exp these are these things qualities are my actual contribution. Then we will say that then there is no difference between you and the labor. Then why you are standing here in separate as a separate factor of production? You have to come into the line of labor. We will give you wages. We are not going to give you profit because same actual contribution is as it is the actual contribution of labor. So why we give you profit? He says that, oh, I am the owner of the business. I have invested my capital. Your Islamic or the, the principle that Al-Khiraj of Bidaman, okay, if you want to make profit, you must be a risk of loss. I am bearing risk of loss. I have invested my capital. Okay, where is your capital? We say that we demand that where is your capital? This guy just says that, oh, this is my capital. This is my capital. So give me reward. We say that this capital is separate factor production in your economic paradigm. It is a separate entity. It is a separate guy. And we have given 20 dollar, 20 rupee as an interest payment of capital. We already have given the share of capital. Now, let's talk about your just 25 rupee. Tell us why we give you 25 rupee. What is your actual contribution? There is no answer for, uh, to the. There, uh, this entrepreneur has no answer, no justification for getting this 25 rupee as a profit because there is no actual contribution. Islamic economic system says that what is the actual contribution of this guy? The actual contribution of this guy is capital. Actual contribution is capital because he invests capital. But what the conventional economic did? The conventional economic did that they separately made capital as separate entity and made entrepreneur as a separate entity. Why? To exploit these two factors of production. Because GDP produced, this is the GDP, all these factors they produced the GDP out of GDP 25, out of this one, this one, and then 20, and then. 25 because all GDP is distributed in among the factors of production. But what they have done, they made capital as a separate entity. Now, this 20 rupee will go to the pocket of entrepreneur. This 25 rupee will go to the part of to the pocket of entrepreneur. So entrepreneur is earning from both hands. But there is no justification for entrepreneur about this 25 rupee. It is a just, they, 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 are, they are just deceiving these other two factors of production. Islamic economic system says that this capital is secured capital. It is a secured capital. How secured capital? Because in production process, land, it is providing its then its contribution, labor, labor is also consuming its health time, then they are getting the reward. Capital is nothing consuming. Capital is secured because if there is a capital of 20 lakh rupee, they are saying that they will charge 10% of 20 lakh rupee as its reward. Whether there is a loss in the whole business, the capital will earn its fixed profit. 
So that is why they will also 20 lakh rupees also already secured. They will get additional benefit of 20 rupee will be, will go to the pocket of entrepreneur. And finally, entrepreneur will also take 25 rupee as a profit, and they are earning 45 rupees. Islamic economic system says no. If you want to make profit, you must be a risk of loss. So that is why in Islamic economic system, Islamic economic system does not accept capital as a separate factor of production. Islamic economic says that capital Islamic is capital is part of this entrepreneur. When capital is written under the it, then we will say that okay, entrepreneur is physical manifestation of this product, this factor of production. And its capital is actual contribution because now it has become risky capital. Now it has become risky capital, and entrepreneur is bearing risk upon the capital. Now it's now his this 25 rupee profit has been justified. Now we will agree to give 25 rupee to this guy when there is no separate factor of production capital it means that capital is no factor separate for factor production then the 20 rupees are remaining these 20 additional 20 rupees will redistribute among land labor and entrepreneur so let's do 7 rupee again that's a 6 rupee and 7 rupee so look at here their share has been increased in Islamic economic system. So that is why we say that Islamic economic system is good and Islamic economic system is the system that will, that will increase the living standard of the people. Rather, capitalism is, is taking money from the people, from the society, from both hands. And they, this capital as a factor production is a sucker on the resources of other uh, factor of production. Let's discuss another way. In economic, what is the economic DNA in Islamic economic system? In economic, Islamic economic system, land, labor, and entrepreneur. This is economic DNA. What have done conventional economics? They modified this DNA. What they have done? They have entered as capital. They have entered a virus style and they have modified the DNA of economic and they say that this is the economic DNA this was a human being for example if I say that that, that was the DNA of a human being the conventional economics edited it modified it now this capitalism has become a new entity and that is zombies that is the zombie not a human being now this economic system is a zombie and this is the Islamic economic system where is the where is the success of humanity where the success of mankind and this is the capitalism that is nothing but exploitation of the society because it is Dracula, it is zombie. So that is the conventional economic system. That is the reason why Muslim countries are not being developed in this under this the umbrella of conventional economic system.